all come to the burial in order to honor his memory. We will speak of all this again after the ceremony. Let us make haste, I beg of you. Remember to locate points in your character sheet when you level up. Hello, Red Priest. Yep. I am Lady Eliana Sarwick, daughter of the late Lord Sarwick. You are just in time for the ceremony. Were you close to my father? Yep, I'm what you have changed much in fifteen years. Your easy brother. Alistair, why have you returned? We don't need you here. Harwin told me of father's death. It was my duty to come. Fifteen years without any news. And he had to die for us to see you again. You would have done better to stay where you were. Oh my god. I do not doubt that my departure was difficult for you. Difficult? To say the least, your disappearance was our father's ruin. Do you know how long mm. I cried after you left? And how long I hoped for news of you? I am sorry. I left Westeros without once turning back, it's true. I understand your reaction. It must have been unbearable for you. But I had to leave. Know that I never forgot you. That's easy for you to say. And you should know that we here learn to live very well without you. I understand your reaction, Eliana. I doubt it. Go pay your last respects to father. We will speak later. May the stranger, the eternal outlaw, pay um, homage to the mortal command of your father. father. You should follow and his may example. he judge you fairly and deliver you from. Who is that man? I believe Lord. that is the elder Sarwick, no. the one who disappeared. He is certainly a random guy. Recognize him. What the fuck is kissing? What the incest? desecrate our father's body that way I desecrated nothing I performed the final kiss hmm. the tribute that oh, the of is, paid uh, the dead. something you may be some a ritual priest, but you should respect Maybe. the beliefs of river spring I did not intend to be disrespectful little sister do not think that it is easy for me to speak with you after all this time this is all water under the bridge now at the time I saw no other way Fifteen years ago, the war that King Robert Baratheon fought to claim the throne forced me to commit deeds which haunt me still. The very idea of returning to you was too painful. I did the only thing left for me to do. I left and began a new life elsewhere. Not long ago, I received a letter from Maester Harwin telling of father's death. I could no longer hide myself. It was time to confront also that master sent what I regret the letter most, to, Eliana, to, to him to come to the other side of the water. It is you who I wounded. All these years I have thrown a veil over your memory. And you return at the moment when everything is in turmoil. I must be alone for the moment. I will see you later, Alistair. Take your time, little sister. I understand. Alistair, Maester Arwen would like to speak with you. He awaits you in the castle courtyard. And if I may add, you should be ashamed of that kiss during the ceremony. My thanks, Ravella. I shall go and see him. Okay. We can speak to her. Yes, we can. I am not sure there is more to discuss between us, Alistair. I am sincerely sorry for your loss. You know how much your father meant to me. Unless you are truly ready to listen to me, it would be best that you leave. As you wish.
Kort ja Oliver Springcastle. Saving. What do we have here? More Americans, isn't it? Yeah, it's way too Americans. Ah, Alistair. There you are. Please leave us. So, you're not too unsettled by the situation here? I spoke to Eliana. She has still not accepted my absence. That's not surprising. She has suffered much since you left. She had toughened against the pain. But now that you are back, she would not know how to react. I understand her anger. I pray for things to improve with time. You are not the sole cause of her unhappiness. As I told you, Ileana took over managing the lands when your father began to fade. She moved heaven and earth to try to get River Spring out of this mire. Our family has always served House Lannister with loyalty. What have they done to help us? For 15 years, your father refused to speak with them. But after his death, Ileana requested an audience with Queen Cersei Lannister. Oh. The audience did not go well, and the Queen will only help us once River Spring has a new lord at its head. Maybe so your sister be worked towards this end. River Spring has belonged to House Sarwick <clears throat> for generations. Ileana has refused to marry a lord from any other house. So, the Queen has chosen a man for your sister. Who? Who is it? Valar, your father's bastard oh, shit. son, your half-brother. Valar? I left Westeros hoping never to hear that name again. It is out of the question for my sister to marry him. He shares our blood. How can the Queen condone a marriage which goes against nature? You realize that if Ilyana were to wed another lord, she would take her husband's name, being a bastard. Valar has no family name. Mm. It was the only solution to keep River Spring for House Sarwick. Why choose Valar for a suitor? What does the Queen want? Mm. From what That's I heard, question. while accompanying she your sister something. to King's Landing for her audience at court, Valar distinguished himself through his exploits. I know that the Queen enjoys surrounding herself with strong, devoted men. That is the case for Valar. By giving him this gift, she ensures his loyalty and increases her power. But Valar was just a squire when he went off to war with me. It would take more than that to be a suitor worthy of our name. Seeing him return alone from the war, your father blamed him for your disappearance. No matter how much Valar claimed to work for the prosperity of Hausawik, your father wouldn't hear any of it. He cursed him and chased him away from River Spring for good. Your half-brother was mad with rage and left oh, seeking shit. vengeance. Apparently, he spent several years at the Citadel, using education to compensate for his low birth. A maester cannot become a lord. He never became maester, but stopped at the rank of acolyte. He learned the art of war, mm. studied the higher mysteries, and forged links. He was then thrown out of the Citadel several years later for studying the Forbidden. Oh. He's been a cell sword ever since. So he, His he reputation spread uh, forbidden and art. royal ears heard of him. In that, two that years, he went mad. from simple soldier to the Queen's guard. He moves in the shadows. The nobles of the court fear him. Valar. He has taken too much from me already. I cannot just stand by while he marries my sister. There is something else of which we should speak. I would have liked to spare you this. I do not believe that your father's death was an accident. There are certain oh, indications that lead me to believe that he was poisoned. Are you sure? Believe me, Alistair, I know this subject. The Strangler is a difficult poison to detect but it leaves certain traces that cannot be caused by anything else. And you have no idea who it could have been? I am Maybe not sure. 
But there are Dark brother, of a possible the culprit. Tell me who it is. This may overwhelm you, but the rumors say that it is your younger brother, Garwin. What? Garwin? He was but a child when I left. He and Lord Reynold had some serious quarrels, and he disappeared on the very night of your father's death. We've had no news of him since. Why? Why would he have done such a thing? Maester Harwin, the people are rebelling. Rioting has broken out throughout the town. With all of this festering discontent, it was only a matter of time before this happened. Why would the people rise up with such violence? Well, the lords left the castle after the burial with their fine clothes and all, whereas the villagers are starving. All of this oh. wealth must have pushed them too far. Everything quickly erupted. They attacked the lords, taking them hostage. How did things get this far out of hand? One man used this opportunity to unite the mob against us. I think I know who leads them. I crossed paths with a certain Tyrek when arriving. A rabble-rouser, telling people to take up arms. Tyrek? I heard some guards say that he was getting people worked up in a marketplace. Then that is where we must go. Captain Ryman says that it's impossible. Our men are barely managing to keep them at bay at the castle doors. There are not enough of us to attempt an escape. Where is Captain Ryman? He is at the doors. He's the one that ordered the barricades. Seven hells! If Ryman deals with it, the revolt will end in...